The West Coast Conference Men's Tennis Tournament has been set, and it will be played in San Diego, California from April 25th through the 27th, and all the times will be in Pacific. It will be played in San, because it's in San Diego, California, I mean. And I'm going to explain the importance of it later, but the 3C Pacific will take on the 6C Portland at 10 a.m., and the 4C Loyola Marymount will take on the 5C Santa Clara at 10 a.m. And yes, not every team, single team will play in this tur uh, tournament because there's more, obviously more teams than that. But it's only for top two thirds in the league. And the next day on April 26th, the 2C Pepperdine will take on the winner of the Pacific and Portland match, while the 1C San Diego will take on the winner of Loyola Marymount and San Diego Santa Clara match at 10 a.m. and obviously both semifinal winners will play each other on April 27th at 10 a.m. and I'm going to explain the importance of it as we all know the cut line right now is 47 teams and really Pepperdine is trying to make sure they're in the big dance and I'm sorry like for like Pacific the only way they're going to get to the comp NCAA tournament is win the whole conference tournament same thing goes for Santa Clara, Loyal Marymount, and Portland. Yeah, I know what's crazy is Gonzaga got left out. St. Mary's got left out. And they're they're like literally ahead of them. It's just the problem is they didn't finish top six in the West Coast Conference. So I'm just telling the truth and San Diego, they're trying to play for a top 16 seed, but even if they get to play Pepperdine, so to speak, I don't know if they're going to have enough points to be a top 16. That's the only problem. So they're definitely in, no matter what. It's it's really Pepperdine. Because if they really lose to Pacific, which that actually match occurred recently, and Pepperdine won 4-3. I think if they lose that match, I think it becomes a little bit hairy, but I still think Pepperdine gets in. But obviously, if you have the, all the other teams in that conference tournament besides those two, top two seeds, you got to win the conference tournament to make the NCAA tournament. And that's pl pretty simple right there. It's just a matter of, like, for her Pacific, if they were to beat... Pepperdine, I don't know how many how many points would it be would it be enough to, to get in the big dance? That's the big question. I don't I don't know. But obviously, like I said, when you're constant, you're definitely in. Well, I got to wait and see what happens. And I'm only mentioning this constant tournament because of the bubble. That's the only reason why I'm doing it. So, anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. See you guys later on the road. 600 subscribers, of course, ultimate goal is a thousand more. So, my money out this course, like a video. Comment video really helps the YouTube algorithm so more people can see it. Sharing the video does help as well so more people can watch it. If you're watching and not subscribe, hit subscribe buttons for the notification bell as well.